Hello to my over 1,000 subscribers. I'm super excited about that. It's been a while since I have made a video. Probably since uh, before I got 1,000 subscribers. So that's really, really cool. Like I said, I'm super, super excited about that. And uh, I love hearing from everyone and finding out where everybody's from. And if anybody has any comments, I love seeing that too. Also, I'm not sure if it's working, because of course I'm blind, uh, but I have now a brand new webcam, and hopefully the webcam is also streaming something. I'm probably not being streamed specifically. I don't know if it's catching my face very much, or if it's catching my room, or anything, but I would love some comments on that too. Let me know what it's picking up, what it's not picking up, what you wanted to pick it up. What you wanted to pick up, what you don't want it to pick up. Anyway, as I always tell anyone who clicks and watches my videos, I always tell you guys if there's anything you want to see or hear about or you want me to demonstrate, be it an app, a program, a game, a topic, definitely let me know. Um, this is one of those type things right here. Somebody told me they wanted to have me do a demonstration of how to record vocals inside of Reaper. And that is what we're going to do today. So, I have my Reaper program open right now, and I also have my NVDA talking. Um, most of the time, I don't have my NVDA going because it doesn't really contribute to the topic of the video. But in this case, it is sort of important so that you guys can hear the same thing that we are hopefully seeing and I am hearing. So for the sake of the video, I will actually go ahead and slow it down. We'll slow it down to about there. Right. And if you don't know what Reaper is, it's really cool and it's very affordable, surprisingly. So Reaper is a digital audio workstation or DAW which is used for audio producers to record and mix and produce music. Whether it be recording vocals, recording uh, someone who plays guitar and piping that into your computer, or using virtual instruments to play whatever they want to play. This thing can do it all. Just like the very, very expensive competitors, like Pro Tools, or Logic, or Cubase, which all range between two or three hundred dollars to a thousand or more dollars. This is only sixty, and it is compatible with Windows and Mac, so definitely very user-friendly for all types of people, be you a beginner or a seasoned pro. So right here, we have our empty Reaper project, which will load when you open up the application. Now, the first thing I recommend doing if you're trying to record anything, vocals or not, is check your preferences. So it opens up to device preferences, which is what we're going to need for recording vocals. And you're going to tab a couple times until it says Select your desired input device here. And this is just a combo box. You tab again. It's got your output device. Once you're satisfied with those, you can modify other preferences in here or if this is all you need, you can just hit enter. Uh, if you are modifying other properties, you can also tab to OK, but enter will do just fine. So we have our input and output selected, and now we need to make a new track. So there's a menu here, like there is in most programs. And if you arrow to the right, insert submenu, or Alt-I, will take you to where you can insert something into your project. So we're going to go to new track. 
track is actually what it says. One. So we've entered our track and we have it in our program one. and it shows us that it's track one. Now one thing that you'll need, I forgot to mention, if you're a blind user, you will probably want to download a program called Osara, which is also for Mac and Windows, and it's a set of scripts that make Reaper more accessible to us who are visually impaired than it would be if we just downloaded it out of the box. So I'm using Reaper right now with Ozara, and I will link to it in the video description just in case you decide that you need to download it as well. So here we are with our one empty boring track. The first thing we need to do with our one empty boring track is we need to arm it because if we don't arm it, we won't be able to do anything on it. Arming it basically tells the system that this track, out of any other tracks you may have, is the one that we want to record on. So we're going to hit F7. Arm. And it says it's armed. armed. Oh. oh. Yeah, and yeah, it also, also does, does that, that because of another, another functionality. functionality. So, 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 I needed to press F8 right there because by default it turns on the record monitoring which is cool. It's nice to hear what is being recorded but it can be difficult especially if you're um, again recording vocals or honestly in my opinion recording anything because you hear yourself echo back and the latency can kind of get in the way. So there's three options when you hit F8. Normal, which does that. Not when not playing, playing, which, which would, would continue, continue to do this until I hit play. Then when, when I start talking, it would stop um, monitoring or no record signify. monitor off, which is what I prefer. Cool. So now we have our track and we have it armed. Um, I like to go to the top of my project by hitting control page up D2. D1. Um, by hitting control home will take you to the top of your project and now we can hit the letter R and Record. Start recording stuff. Play. When we're done, we can hit R again, or we can also hit space to stop recording. And I'm going to press space right here to play what I recorded. Play. Start recording stuff. That's the tiny little bit that I recorded, which is perfectly fine. Um, so that's sort of your basic overview of how to record vocals or anything else inside of Reaper. Um, of course, being as their vocals, if you're singing or maybe recording a part, a line for an audio drama or something, you will want some compression or some reverb and there is ways to add those things. We can dive into that in another episode of this. I'm totally up for that if people want more Reaper tutorials. But for now, that's just a very, very quick overview of how to record anything at all you want. Well, I guess besides virtual instruments, because that's a little bit more complicated. But it still does require those basic skills of setting up your uh, track and arming them, etc. Inside of Reaper. Like I said, if anyone has any comments suggestions, ideas, feedback, feel free to drop them in the comments. Also feel free to drop them in the Discord. I'm going to link my Discord to the channel uh, very, very soon. And another thing I've linked to the channel, which you of course don't have to do, but I have linked my Ko-Fi page in case anyone decides they want to toss me some tips. Tips are greatly appreciated. They get me games that I can play on channel. They get me new technology that I can play on channel. 
they keep the lights on so I can keep a channel. And uh, yeah, definitely appreciate it. Also, I don't think I mentioned it. I was meaning to mention it in this video, but I did just get a new webcam and I'm not entirely sure if it's showing anything or not. So let me know if that's displaying anything or you want it to display something different as well. Click the like button, the share button, the subscribe button. Of course, like I said, that comment button and check out the links I have in the channel um, main information. Also, like I said, I'll link to Osara in this particular video's description. Till then, have a great rest of your night or day or keep doing what you're doing.